Learn Java the hard way. Exercise 0, the setup. Ubuntu Linux. So I'm going to show you how to set up the basic Java tools and text editor on, on Linux. Um, the distribution I'm using for demonstration is Ubuntu Linux 14.04 LTS, also known as Trusty Tar, but it shouldn't be much different for other Linux distributions. So we're going to go to my website, Learn Java the Hard Way. We're going to go to the free chapters online so that we can look at exercise zero. And we're going to scroll down to the section that says Linux. All right, so the first thing we're going to do is make sure that the gedit text editor is installed. On Ubuntu, it's installed by default. If you go up here to the dash, you can either click that or press the Windows key or what they call the super key to see that. When you start typing in gedit, G-E-D, sorry, I'm running this in an emulator so I can get a clean machine. And you can see it's a text editor right there. So let's go ahead and just open that. I promise that Linux is much faster than this usually. Okay, so what we want to do is we want to go to the preferences window here. So go all the way up to the top and see, say edit, and then say preferences. And we want to click where it says display line numbers. And then we want to choose where it says editor and change the tab width to four. Okay, and we're going to do automatic indentation. There you go. So that should make certain things easier. So we did three things there. We did, we did the tab width, we did the automatic indentation, and we did the display line numbers. So that's that right there. Um, I want to keep that open all the time so I don't have to hunt for it in the dash. So I'm going to go over here where it shows up in the little bar and right click on it and I'm going to say lock to launcher. So that should keep a copy in the launcher all the time. That way even when I close it, I can get it back relatively quickly like that. So that'll be nice. Um, the next thing I want to do is I want to um, launch my terminal program. And in my case, if you go up to the dash here and clear out what's already in there, the terminal is usually in the first few if you've freshly installed the machine, but if, if you haven't, if you just type in T-E-R-M, then that should show you terminal. And we're going to use the one that's just called terminal because it's pretty good. So just click on that, and it will open it up right there. So again, I want to go over here and right-click on it and say lock to launcher so that now I can get that back quickly. Now, um, I'm going to type in, I'm going to see if the Java compiler is already installed. It is not. Um, but it says that it can be found in the following packages. So what you can do is you can, if you're comfortable with the command line, sudo apt-get install, um, and I want to choose this one, the OpenJDK one right there. You can type that in, and then that'll prompt you to type in your password, and then you should be able to do that that way, or if you prefer to do it from a, a more graphical user interface kind of way, then you can open up the Ubuntu Software Center here, and you can choose. Just go up here and type in JDK in the search bar, and it's going to show you that. If it does not show you that, oh, see, that's what I expected to see right there. I expected to see almost nothing. And then you see right down here at the bottom where it says show 59 technical items, at least on mine. If you click that, it will show you the technical items, which is what you want. And then you can click there, and then you can say install. And we can wait for that to install. So it wants me to type in my password.
and so now you can see that it's installing over here. Shouldn't take too long to do that. So we're done there and we ought to be able to just close that window. Now if you go back to the terminal and just type that in again, Java C dash version, it ought to be in the path already. And you should see a version like Java C 1.7.0 underscore 55. Um, as long as that's version 1.5 or higher, you should be fine. Um, a 1.8 is going to be the newest. Um, if for some reason that doesn't show you the latest version, you can try closing the terminal window and then opening it back up again so that you can get a Java C dash version so that you can get something like that. Okay, so you're supposed to learn how to create a folder or make a directory from the terminal. So I'm going to say mkdir Java code. I'm going to change into that directory cd Java code. And, and again, if you're not familiar with the command line, I really would encourage you to go through the, it's at the top here, Zed Shaw's um, command line crash course um, to teach you how to use uh, the, the terminal window. Uh, it really is, is pretty good and it's free. So if you have no experience with a command prompt, that would probably help you out to do something like that. Then it says... Um, learn how to change to this new directory, which I just did. Now use my text editor to create a file called test.txt and save it into the directory you just created. This is a test. Save. I'm going to go into my Java code folder here and I'm going to call this test.txt and say save. And so now, if I type ls, I should confirm that that file is correctly in there. So now we can do that. Oh, if we were supposed to do that using only the keyboard. So I'm going to use Alt-Tab. So hold down Alt and press Tab to do that. And it should go a lot faster on your machine to choose which thing to open. I'm just pressing Tab while keeping Alt held down to, to rotate through the open applications there. So if I let go then of alt, then it will take me to this thing. And I can type a directory listing to confirm that that's still there. And that's it. So you are done with the first exercise and you should be good to go to begin exercise one where you're going to be creating your first program. So hopefully that wasn't too bad and you're able to follow along with that. Again, if you're using a different flavor of Linux other than Ubuntu, you probably know how to get the Java compiler installed. Um, all, and, and a decent text editor. Um, so, so have fun and feel free to email me if you have any questions. If for some reason you have a, a weird Linux distribution and you can't figure out how to do it, uh, I can make a custom video for, for that if you're having trouble. So thanks for listening and I'll see you in the next exercise.